Hi family, this is your girl Aqua Goddess coming to give you your general reading. Keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future and it may or may not resonate with you. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, if you'd like to donate to my channel, purchase any artwork or manifestation jewelry, all of the information will be listed in the description box below. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for coming and if you are not new, thank you so much for your love and support. I truly love you guys. So this is going to be the part two of the part one. What are they hiding? Um, I've already prayed and meditated over your energy. So we're just going to go ahead and tap right in. Spirit angels, ancestors, guides, please protect me and my collective as I channel these messages. Pre please provide the most clear messages and please return all negative energy back to sender 10 million fold. Anybody out there showing me love, much love and light to you. Angel number 103. So, basically what's going on here is that you could have dealt with someone that um, may have made you fight for, your, for their love. And what I mean when I say that is, you know, you could have fell in love with this person. They may have started out as being a friend, you know. Um, you could have found yourself falling in love with this person. You guys were definitely sexually intimate with one another. But this person was very distant, you know. They never made things official with you. They had you wondering because it's like this person was very compassionate. They were very understanding. You guys were good friends. So you could not really understand what the issue was. You seen yourself actually having a future with this person. You felt like they would be a great person to marry. You guys could have a beautiful journey together. You know, make a lot of money. Influence the world in a lot of different positive ways. So you had a vision for this connection. What you don't know is that this person had a vision for this connection too. However, we are dealing with a narcissistic individual. So if you know that you are not dealing with the narcissist, this reading will not be for you. However, this narcissist's intentions were to have you emotionally tied up. You know, this person wanted you to fall in love and they really love you too. You know, they really care about you too. But it was more about what you can do for this person's emotional needs. See, with you, you speak life into this person. So, you know, you help them with their ego drive, with their supply, as so we call it. You know, you make this person smile, you make this person laugh, you tell this person how great they are. You're always appreciative for everything that they do for you. You always show how much love you have for this person. Some of you all could have opened your home up to this person. Whatever the case may be, this person knew that you 100% genuinely cared about them and that you were absolutely ready for love. This person knew that you didn't play games. You wanted an actual commitment. You wanted someone that was emotionally available, somebody that knows how to treat you, right? But what happened is I feel like it was some type of big fight or big argument or big disagreement where you really discovered that this person was a narcissist. Um, you may have been in a domestic violence situation. This person may have did something like blackmail you or break something like your car window or, you know, something to the extreme, okay, to where you guys had it out. You could have ghosted this person. This person may have ghosted you. Put yourself where you may fit if this is your story. All I know is your journey changed. This vision that you once saw with this person, you no longer saw that, vi you know, you no longer seen that vision, you know. You started to strategize and plan your own journey, you know. I see that you guys definitely level up. This could have taken you through a spiritual awakening, um, definitely could have been, you know, the bridge to your spiritual awakening, right? 
just being so acquainted with someone to find out that you didn't even really know who they were. You know, you thought that you guys had a spiritual connection. Um, you love this person. You put in as much effort as you possibly can, even if you guys were just friends, right? But I see that your perspective changed in regards to this person. And what's happening right now is that this person did not expect you to move forward. And then when you moved forward, you really actually took the time to do the inner work. This person is completely surprised. It's 100% unexpected. You're way better than you were when you were with this person. Even though this person knew that you were great then, the way that you're coming off now, your energy now is very much so trumping the energy that you had before. So I see that you went through a major transformation as far as your growth and your development is concerned. And this person still watches you. And the reason why they watch you is because they're narcissistic. This person's intentions were to ghost you and to have you in your feelings, make you chase them, make you break you down so that they would feel like it was a reward to be around this person so that they can be and come as they please without you complaining, without you setting boundaries or anything of that sort. This person wanted you to be completely submissive to all of their manipulation. Even if you are a conscious, even if you were a conscious individual at that time, this person felt like they had the strength to mentally manipulate you to where they could have you so controlled and so tamed that they would be able to do whatever, whenever, however they want it with you. However, your strength, your courage, your guides your ancestors your spirit team the most high you know your supporters the people that really love you some kind of way with all of those things all of those energies all of those blessings combined you were able to overcome the situation to where now you're so powerful this person can't believe it What's bothering this person the most is that you've lost interest, you don't care, you're not chasing, you've let it go. For some of you guys, it could be months, years, weeks, days. But the issue is, this person has took it in their own hands to think that they could actually do black magic. That they can manipulate your energy to where you would come back to them. This person has been telepathically communicating with you. You felt that energy. Even if you wanted to forget they ever existed. A lot of you guys feel like you always have somebody watching you or you just feel watched. And it's because this person is watching you. They often communicate with you. Some of you through dreams. Um, some of you through just intuitive messages, telepathic communication, whatever the case may be. Believe it or not, this has not brought you back to this person, okay? You've accepted the fact that this is no longer your journey. You want something different. You're focusing on yourself. You have a bright future. You're unbothered. This person has took it in their own hands, and this is past, present, or future. Please take it how it resonates. It's serious. They've done some type of magic to manipulate your health now. Since this person could not get to your mind, they've done things here, either directly or indirectly, to use magic to try to hinder you as far as your health is concerned. Some of you all have went through near-death experiences. Some of you all have gotten sick out of any, just nowhere. It's been random, right? Yeah. It's because this person has been doing magic. It is so clear, okay? This person's been doing magic. For somebody that I'm talking to, okay, you went through a near-death near experience. You didn't know where it came from. You had never been sick. Nothing was wrong with you, okay? Something happened randomly one day where you went through an experience and it was a near-death experience, okay? This person manipulated 
they use magic to do that okay this is the reason why you never knew about any illness before nothing was ever wrong with you <clears throat> they're trying to block my throat chakra as i say this thank you for this the confirmation spirit thank you so much and please protection over me and all of my collective okay but i just want to tell you that whatever it is that they did to you you overcame it so you didn't you didn't die like you didn't die okay and you're not coming back to this person all of a sudden your ships are coming in right now um you got new opportunities new career things uh if you have goals or projects that you were working on you're getting back to those you're manifesting like you're you're more spiritually balanced than ever before right a lot of you guys are about to come into some sudden wealth here, okay? There's going to be some unexpected money that comes in for you because you've been putting in work on yourself, on your goals, on your projects, whatever the case may be. This person is coming back, okay? They want to marry you. This person has went to some type of tarot reader or some type of psychic, somebody, okay? They've went to somebody that has the gift of discernment and they found out that you're going to be, you have a great fortune, okay? This person could be watching you right now on your journey. They found out about this great fortune, the sudden wealth. This person wants to come back and marry you. They're going to try to convince you that they're humble, they change, they've grown, they're ready for love, they know how to treat you, they don't want to play games with you. I see that you're going to completely turn this person's offer down and that is great but this reading um you know that this person is catfish and see a lot of you guys got mystery people on your pages maybe people that flirt with you or put little comments under there whatever the case may be this person whew, Oh, they watch you and you're leveling up. You're making money. A lot of you guys got a new career um, or just very financially stable because you've, ta you've taken this risk. Yeah. And what this person don't know is that there is somebody here that's coming into your energy that's 100% sure about you. 100%. This person's excited about the journey that they're going to have with you. They want to marry you. They want to build with you. They're not confused about you. And so you definitely have a past narcissist coming back to try to offer you something. They have been doing so much research, so much homework, so manipulation, so much manipulation, so much magic that you would not believe it. Angel number 1300. Like this whole reading got me chilled because it's like I understand that I'm talking to some powerful beings. You are a force. You were able to pull through any type of magic, manipulation, abuse, neglect, whatever. Like you were able to pull through this. This person know they don't have no battle against you. So now they want to come and deal with you. They want to come together because they know they can't go against you. <sighs> Y'all. This, this is real. Spirit, let's get one more card to wrap this up. Mm. Yes. Um, so when you think about things because right now i'm gonna tell you guys something you are a master manifester okay your third eye is open your crown is fully open right now and expo and exposed okay so make sure um spirit is telling me to communicate this to you uh choose to respond to the situations from an enlightened position rather than just reacting because somebody's going to try to come into your energy to get a reaction out of you. They want to know if they still got control over you. Okay? But just know that your thoughts are powerful. You can manifest exactly anything that you want. Do you hear me? So when you think, think positive. Think high. Think, uh, you know, high, higher vibrations. Right? 
elevation, prosperity, abundance, protection. Because you are powerful, you've overcame a lot, and you got a lot more to overcome. But you have the all the tools and resources that you need to do so. Okay? So I love you guys. Angel number 1515. 15. Those are the messages that I have for you today. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonates with you, please be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.